What is going on YouTube? I am Bakris Guy here with another video for you today. And in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about day one of the Witch Queen DLC dropping. This will be all about the campaign and that's pretty much it. It's not going to be about the day one Witch Queen raid because... I mean, we don't even know what really is going to come into play there because we haven't got to touch the exotics yet. But I'm just going to let you guys know what I'm going to be using for the Day 1 Legend Witch Queen campaign. Now, there's a couple factors that come into this, right? So my build itself, the armor, will stay the same, but the weapons will not. And here's why. So starting off in the connect slot, right, we, we know in the legendary version there will be um, anti-barrier champions. Now, if you are a person who didn't Witch Queen prep and you can only choose one of these to start, um, then you're going to want Arbalest because Arbalest is a free anti-barrier um, slot because it just has it intrinsically and you won't have to do anything with it. Now, if you're a person who did successfully, you know, get your stuff done then i mean you'll understand the the rest of this video and what, what i will say um but for those who are struggling or don't necessarily have everything ready quite yet arbalist will be your best friend you'll be able to take care of those anti-barriers and uh the rest of your fire team could potentially take care of the overloads or unstoppables because we don't know I, I know for a fact that anti-barriers will be there because they are always the one that's like in basically always there um <clears throat> so trusty is a good choice if you want to go with that with anti-barrier or um oh i don't even have a night watch uh hung jury it's another fantastic choice for anti-barrier so basically the loadouts i will be running depending on my teammates because all three of us did in fact uh fully prepare for this I might go with Is It Nagi's Burden and then throw on an SMG depending on uh, which SMG I'm just feeling at the time. I mean, they, they do the same thing, They're, but obviously I favor this one more. Um, as far as heavy weapons go, Reed's Regret will always be a very good option for linear fusions, uh, but also you can have He's in Vengeance, Hero of Ages if that comes into play, which I'm, I'm sure it won't. But you never know. You got Sleeper Simulant, which is really powerful even without Particle Deconstruction right now. Um, Anarchy Shreds Champions. So to give you guys a little bit of a perspective, okay? So if I want to run Anti-Barrier Scout Rifle, I have my Scout Rifle. If I want to run Overload SMG, I have my SMG. I can swap in and out if I want to. Again, these two are the same, so it really doesn't matter. And also, you can have any SMG that you prefer. I just prefer these two. Um... And then you can you could be uh, the teammate that runs anarchy. There's nothing wrong with you. You just won't do great boss damage. That's the only thing. But as for champion damage, anarchy is fantastic. It's serious. It's really good. Also, you have lament as a choice for anti barrier. Um, also, I don't have it right here, but Bastion intrinsically takes out um, unstoppables, just like. Uh, Divinity intrinsically takes out overloads. There's so many different options that you can go with. Um, it's just that I am playing a Titan, so I have to keep mine limited because my other teammates are probably going to be playing a Warlock or Hunter. And, you know, I usually like to play off my teammates and have them tell me what they're going to be using just so that I can use what I need to use. Okay, so going on to the gear. So on the gear, right, we're not going to have no, no mods here, you know. It's just going to be about the combat style of mods. So I'm going to have Kindling the Flame. While charged with light, reviving a down teammate gives me a burst of healing. This is very good because it's going to keep me alive. Uh, along with Taking Charge, Protective Light. Um, Global Reach is kind of there as a placeholder right now. I'm thinking about changing these boots uh, to Void to get stacks on stacks. Because I have the stats here that I want. Because I will be using Bubble. And for those that don't know, Bubble is getting a buff. Essentially, it'll pop as fast as the well. And not only that, the reason why my resilience is a 9, because the bubble stacks off of your resilience that you have. And of course, I have 100 intellect, 8 recovery, and then my abilities are what they are, because I am using Heart of Inmost Light. This is the core of my build, because every time that I use an ability, my mm -hmm. others, my other abilities get empowered from it, okay? Um, and your barricades have more hit points, so this is going to be very good for for day one of the witch queen dlc 
Um, if you guys want me to do a Hunter and Warlock build, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I have been Bakusky, and I'll see you guys in the next one.